Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Wednesday, April 17th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. And I'm going to begin today, unfortunately, with news on the passing of a friend and a colleague named Terry Morrow. Terry was the entertainment reporter at the New Sentinel in Knoxville, Tennessee. He passed away yesterday due to complications from pancreatic cancer. He was only 52 years old. And I knew Terry from the Television Critics Association. I last saw him this past summer. He was at the event. I truly admire Terry. He was just a very nice, kind, gentle individual. He really fought this battle for several years. Unfortunately, he lost it. But all I will say is our loss is heaven's gain. Rest in peace, Terry Morrow. You will be greatly missed. Now let's head to some news in the current TV landscape. I have to begin with Friends. There is a raging rumor out there that Friends is going to return for a reunion season. I've been getting emails right and left from people. Is it happening? Is it happening? Unfortunately, it is not happening. It would literally be impossible to get those six actors back together again to do a full season, not even a reunion telecast. According to Warner Brothers, it is not happening, at least not at this time. Sorry about that. Now, let's talk about Dallas on TNT for a moment. It concluded on Monday. It's second season. It aired two episodes, and they were both above average. The 9 o'clock telecast had 2.8 million viewers. The 10 o'clock telecast had 3 million viewers, and that was the second most watched episode of Dallas this season since the funeral of J.R. Ewing, a.k.a. Larry Hagman, on March 11th. Now, again, and I've mentioned this before, ratings versus last summer were way down. In total viewers, it was down by about 40%. Among key adults 18 to 49, Dallas was down about 27%. However, when you air in the traditional season versus the summer, the competition is much fiercer, and TNT really has other problems that it has to deal with before Dallas, including Lead Out Monday Mornings, which lost about half of the audience from Dallas, and Returnee Southland. If I had to make a prediction, I do believe that Dallas will return for a third season. My suggestion to the writers is slow down the pace and focus more on the clan called Ewing amongst each other and stop with all this other stuff. It was a tough season for them because Larry Hagen passed away. They had to rewrite a lot of it, but I truly do believe it's going to come back, and I will let you know as soon as I find out. Over at E, upcoming docuseries The Wanted, which will focus on UK band The Wanted, will debut on Sunday, June 2nd at 10.30 Eastern Time. One week later, it will move into its 10 p.m. time period. Over at Sci-Fi, New Drama Defiance debuted this past Monday. The ratings were positive. It had 2.7 million total viewers and 1.4 million adults 18 to 49. Sci-Fi is reporting this was its most watched episode for any series since Warehouse 13 in 2009. Coming up on the air tonight is the one-hour season finale of Sophomore, ABC sitcom Suburgatory. Now, ABC has to make a decision. It has two sitcoms right now that are really on the fence, well, not including Malibu Country, but you have Suburgatory and you have The Neighbors. I think one of those two are going to come back, and if I had to predict, I would point the finger to Suburgatory because it already has two seasons under its belt, and traditionally you need four seasons for off-network. So Suburgatory really needs to pull a number tonight. If you're a fan, watch it. And let's talk about today in TV history. I have two items we will start with. Current HBO classic, Game of Thrones, which won six Emmy Awards last fall, debuted on this day in 2011. Happy second anniversary to Game of Thrones. Then on this day, just last year, was the series finale of... Ringer on the CW after just one season and 22 episodes. It featured Sarah Michelle Geller, and the moral of that story is finding a hit series after Buffy the Vampire Slayer or anything of a hit nature is not easy. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights on this 17th day of April. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll be back with more news about my favorite medium television tomorrow. Have a great day, everyone.